welcome to my fave game on the brain. I'm talking about HQ words. I am your host, queen of prose, lover of text, Anna Royceman. You can find me here all over social media. Tell me, did you have a great weekend, huh? You got any juicy secrets for me? I have one for you. There is a hidden theme in tonight's game. All of the puzzles have something in common that has to do with a band, and it's the answer to the final puzzle. So, can you figure it out before we even get to the end? That's on you. I have more gossip for you. Are you ready? Tonight's prize is $1,000. It won't be long till you're sharing some of that and bragging about your win. Hey, spin the wheel around my face for your letter. Ooh, okay, this game just got better because you're getting a free letter. I'll be there for you in dark and stormy weather. What? She rhymes. Or I'll be there for you for the next 10 puzzles. How does that sound? Look, whatever letter you got, it's yours for the entire game. It's my gift. Now that we've taken care of the business, are you ready to play? Cause it's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more money you'll win. So let's have a ball. Oh, I'm rhyming everywhere. Your first hint is 90s movie dog. I love dogs. I have one. Type in N, V, and B. This dog is big and I mean massive. He's named after a famous composer, too. You might know his favorite move. Do you know what it is? If you tell him to roll over. He loves that one. I'm talking about Beethoven. Remember Beethoven? The St. Bernard. He's a massive dog. 174,000 remember Beethoven. 29,120. Ooh, they're wiped out off the bat on Beethoven. Are you catching the theme yet? Are you ready to bust through this game? Uh, okay, I like the tough dude. Quick, type in this fictional boxer. He's from a movie, he plays the title character. You know what? He's also from Philadelphia, which is where I am from. And you know what? He's not spelled correctly here, but it's Rocky Balboa. We had a typo. We're live. We're human. Rocky Balboa. You know what? To make up for it, you want to hear the music? You want to hear the theme music from the movie? Let's hear it. Okay. If this doesn't pump you up, come on. Come on. It's pumping you up. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. That was a little bit of a, a, little bit of a typo. That's okay. It's Sunday, but tomorrow, you know what tomorrow is? Sun tomorrow's Monday, and yesterday, someone came up to me and they said, hey, name two pronouns, and I said, who, me? <laughs> Tomorrow's pun Monday pun day, baby. You get it? Name two pronouns, who, me? That's how it's done, okay? Get psyched, because it'll be tomorrow night. We're gonna have a great time. We're playing words on wordplay. You get it, you know it. All right, I just wanna let you know that if you were out on Rocky Balboa because we had a typo, you're getting an extra life for that last puzzle. I apologize. You know, it happens. It happens. We're getting an extra life, so that's pretty great. Okay, this next puzzle is for all the HP fans. You know HP? I don't know what school you were sorted in, but I hope it teaches you who this young Dumbledore actor is. He's fantastic, and he plays this character in the sequel. Plus, this isn't the first young character he's played in a while. He plays a lot of young characters. You got this. And the young Dumbledore actor is Jude Law. Oh, he's so handsome. He's so great. Jude Law, 111,000 people solved the puzzle. 37,253 eliminated on Jude Law. I love the guy, right? Come on, huge fan. Tell me, when you watch a movie, you probably like it to be dark, right? This shines nicely in the dark. Your hint is soft illumination. This is more of a, a natural setting, but it happens at night. Have you ever taken a photo with this in the background? It's beautiful. And if you're by a body of water, you can see the reflection of this in the water. And I know we're a week early, but 
The Oscar goes to La La Land. Oh no, the answer's Moonlight! It's Moonlight! How did I do that? That's never happened before. <gasps> Moonlight is the puzzle. 106,000 people solved it. 6,326 eliminated on Moonlight. I couldn't see it anymore. And that's because you didn't have the Moonlight there. Have you ever been told something that felt kind of harsh? It's possible someone used an impolite expression. This is an abrupt way of telling someone to leave you alone. They want you to do anything else. Right, and how's the wind today? Hmm? This is an activity you can do when there's a decent amount of wind. And I don't mean sailing, but it's impolite. When someone tells you to go fly a kite, Come on, go fly a kite, go do anything else but talk to me. 84,000 solved the puzzle, 22,138 are off to fly a kite, I guess. They're eliminated from the game, but it looks like everyone who's still here, you're flying high as a kite right now, baby, because you just soared halfway through the game. Okay, nothing has schooled you yet. We have only five more puzzles until that word nerd graduation ceremony. Ooh, it'll be beautiful. Nothing boring like this pretty drab color. This color is also a condiment. And if you brighten it up, ooh, it's, it's much prettier when it's bright and less drab. I know you're familiar with this one. I'm just checking the place out. I'm talking about mustard yellow is the pretty drab color. Mustard yellow, 71,738 solved the puzzle, 13,000 eliminated on mustard yellow. This is kind of a nicer yellow behind me, right? It's prettier. Tell me though, I wanna know in the chat, well, for your hot dog, are you a ketchup or mustard person? Huh? That's a great debate. I like mustard, but let me know. I just want to see it in the chat right now. Tell me, when it's warmer out, I'm going to have a barbecue. That's why I need to know. And you're all coming over for hot dogs and this summertime drink. This is refreshing and delicious, and you need a blender to make it. Some people like a salt rim. I don't. I don't need it. You do have to be 21 to order this. Plus, it can come with a flavor. Ooh, we're getting fancy now. I'm talking about a frozen margarita. Okay, sounds delicious, right? 44,162. I will meet you later for a frozen margarita. 28,243 eliminated on puzzle seven on frozen margarita. It's okay, we're in the winter right now. We're freezing now. In the, by the summer, you're gonna get that puzzle. Though I go by word queen now, thank you so much. I've never actually led people before, only letters, which is why I admire this famous first lady. She was the longest serving first lady we've had in US history. She's also very progressive. She was a civil rights activist, which was kind of controversial for the time. And even long after her husband passed away, she still worked in politics. Are you catching on to the theme yet? The answer is Eleanor Roosevelt. Of course, Eleanor Roosevelt, she's a queen. 44,878 solved the puzzle, 1,497 eliminated on Eleanor Roosevelt. Come on, I did my research. That was like a lot of trivia I gave you on Eleanor Roosevelt, right? Okay, we all have our best friends, our friends, and our frenemies. Do you like comics? I wanna know these Peanuts frenemies. Remember the Peanuts? A whole group of characters and a dog. One of them was always down about things, so negative. And one of them was very bossy. But they got along, you know, half the time, which is what makes them frenemies. A friend and an enemy at the same exact time. What a word. The answer is Lucy slash Charlie Brown. 
Remember Charlie Brown? 40,346 are still in the game to win this thing. 4,674 eliminated on Lucy slash Charlie Brown. Come on. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. No one hears a Charlie Brown, only confident brainiacs who solved their way to the final puzzle. We started tonight's game with over 225,000 players. And here we are at the end of the long and winding road. About to learn who gains the word nerd status and some money. If you've been reading between the puzzles tonight, here we go. Hopefully you figured out this game's theme. That's the hint. You got this. A little piece of this was in every single puzzle leading up to this final moment. All you need is love and letters and luck. And the final answer is, it was titles of Beatles songs. Ooh, who here's a Beatles fan, right? All my love for all of these winners. We've got 34,425 winners in tonight's HQ Word theme, hidden theme game, baby. Congratulations. Woo! This is awesome. You did it. Did you catch all of the titles? I caught them. I got all the titles. You love Beatles fans. Ooh, in first place tonight, we've got Go Marino 13. You won $100. In second place, Chad 1M just won 75 bucks. And in third place, Triumph Wanter won $50. Congratulations. You know your Beatles songs, huh? That is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of the winners and our new friends who dropped into HQ Words tonight. I want to hold your hand, but there's a blackbird singing, and while I wish it would stop, I have to just let it be. I'm sure we can work it out, right? In my life, I am Anna Roisman. Ooh, follow me here on social media. Don't let me down. I will see you tomorrow night and every night after HQ Trivia when we come together for a brand new game of HQ Words. So go have a beautiful Sunday night. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. We're not saying goodbye. Hello. I don't know why you say Okay, fine. We're saying goodbye. Bye.